Good morning everyone. This is M. Najma Begum, Assistant Professor of English Department, JG College of Arts and Science, Puthukote. In this session, we are going to discuss about the prose, A Deed of Bravery by Jim Corbett. About the author, Jim Corbett was a Lieutenant Colonel of the British officers in India. He trained people in jungle warfare and the ways of the jung Indian jungles. He broke the typical British officer mindset in people by actually helping them by hunting dangerous tigers. He is the author of the books Man Eaters of Kumon and Man Eating Leopard of Rudra Prayag. This prose is taken from the work My India. The characters Narva and Haria, the protagonist duo of the work from Almora, Jim Corbett, the author of the work, Maggie, sister of Jim Corbett, the doctor, he treated Narva's wounds. There are some minor characters, Robin, the pet dog of Jim Corbett, wife of Narva. Lives of Narva and Hariya Narva and Hariya consider themselves blood brothers even when they were not. Since they were untouchables, basket making was their family's fated profession. They lived in Almora during the summer and migrate to Kaladungi during the winter, where there is a demand for handmade bamboo baskets. The ringal bamboo which they use for making those baskets grow in the Nalini Resort forests, from which people need a license to cut a headload of bamboo. The brothers go on a journey. Narva and Haria set out to Nalini village early in the morning at 26 December 1939. Since it's really cold in the morning, they wore coarse cotton sheets around them. They first went along the canal bank, after which they take an alternate footpath which runs alternatively to the dense scrub jungle over long stretch of the Boar River. They cross the river through a shallow path to go into a tree and grass jungle. They travel a mile through this jungle to reach the valley full of tall grass. It is known as Samal Chor. The brothers encounter the tiger. Narva and Haria went through the grass valley. Before going in, Narva folded his cotton sheet and placed it on his right shoulder. Hariya was going front while Narva was following. When they went three yards into the valley, Hariya heard the roar of the tiger and scared scream from Narva. When Hariya turned back, he sees a tiger lying diagonally across Narva. Hariya pulls Narva by the ankles and drags him away from the tiger and see that Narva was badly injured. Hariya rescues Narva. Hariya hires a pack horse for 2 rupees and mounted Narva on it. Since the distance to Kaladungi was 8 miles and the tiger was in between their path, Haria took an alternate path through Muzubanga village, which added 10 miles to their journey. They made it to their communal hut where Maggie was having her tea in her house. Since the injury was too much for Maggie to handle, she quickly gave Nawa a dose of sal volatile 
and made a sling for his arm. She also wrote a letter to the local surgeon too. Jim visits Narva. Jim returned from bird shooting that day when Maggie told him about Narva. The next day Jim visits Narva. The doctor tells that he did everything he could. Since there were no hopes of recovery for Narva and no facilities for inpatients, Narva was sent back home. Narva was lying on the corner of the communal hut, which was the home of 20 families. Jim describes that it was the last place for an injured man to rest, for the communal hut was so insanitary and noisy. Narva was suffering from high fever at some times and was in a state of unconsciousness or coma and was looked after by his crying wife and Haria. Jim says that it was clear even to his unexperienced self that if the wounds were not opened immediately and cleansed, they would become septic. Therefore, Jim takes Narva to the hospital and allows the young doctor to open his wounds with the lancet. The post-hospital period. The author says that the poor people of India can only survive if they work daily, with the exception of professional beggars who can scam people and get money easily. Since Nawa's wife was busy looking after him and their three-year-old baby, Maggie supplied all their needs. After three months, Nawa came to the author's house to bid him farewell. He became so skinny due to malnourishment. The next day, Haria and his family went back to Palmora. Jim Corbett's investigation. The author, after hearing Haria's view on the attack, was convinced that, that it was an accidental face-off. However, to confirm it, he went back to the valley where Nava was attacked. He put this is that the tiger was hunting a sambar stag moments before the two brothers arrived and made rustling noises in the grass. Therefore, the tiger thought that another creature has come to fight it to get its share of their deer. So it attacked Narva. Therefore, Jim left the tiger alive since it made no more attempt to bite Narva after it pounced on him and it had even let Haria drag Narva below its legs. The story of this tiger was later introduced in the chapter, Just Tigers of the author's work, The Man-Eaters of Kumon. Jim's opinion on the attack. The author accepts that out of all the deeds that he have witnessed, he considers Haria's deed the bravest of them all. He further says that the courage to respond to a cry of distress, saving a companion and making a run for dear life despite all the odds that were surrounding him was only given to a few. Jim Corbett tried with the government to get them some recognition for the two brothers were poor people, but the official rules were strict that they could not give any recognition to an act which doesn't have any witness.
Therefore, the author sadly says that the two brave hearts went off without any recognition and was only left with more pain and distress. He says that he tried persuading with the king about the matter, but since he was busy with world war preparations, he let the idea slip out of his mind. The timeline of the story. At first, the brothers started their journey to Nalini forest. During their journey, Narva was get attacked by tiger on the way, and then Hariya took Narva with him and returned back to Kalagungi via Musabanga village. Narva was badly injured, so he had his medication and resting at the communal hut, and then Narva was taken to the hospital by Jin and his wounds were cleaned. Finally, Narva and Hariya and his families returned back to Almora. Thank you.